morning and welcome to Winners Win Live. This is Christopher Coakley, president of Surge 365. Uh, excited to be talking with you guys this morning. There's uh, so much going on in the world and so much going on in the world of travel um, that, you know, you have to be excited and you have to be hopeful. Um, this was a very, very tough week for everyone but it looks like justice will be served and we'll soon find that out as far as what's been going on with the protest. And, uh, and so I'm hopeful and, uh, and I'm really excited that so many people have uh, committed, you know, to take up these issues and really confront, you know, uh, racism in all of its forms you know, in this country. And uh, and that's exciting that people are galvanized to address that issue, um, an issue that so many of us were born into. Um, but to have, just to, to see such a multicultural group of people engage and commit uh, has been not sad, but actually exciting to see and, and to be alive to see it at this stage in, uh, in my life. So that that made this such an incredible week of emotions um, that, that I'm just proud of this country um, right now, or, or should I say of the people in this country who've decided that they're gonna help move this country forward. And we're gonna keep getting better, you know, and that's what we, we always set out to do. Um, and then I look at travel, and I've always said, I've always been a, an advocate of the fact that travel is going to come back, it's going to come back faster, it's going to come back stronger, it's going to come back incredible, because it has to. Travel is such an intricate part of success for almost all businesses, but some countries, travel is their gross national product. I mean, without it, those countries could not survive. And so everyone's committed, you know, to as soon as they possibly can open open up travel um, all over the world. And I initially thought, well, you know, even if it comes back soon, it'll take a while and people will be nervous. And uh, but you know something, I, another thing I learned from, you know, the many protests all over the world is People aren't afraid of what they believe in. And, you know, travel has been most people's dream and goal all their life. And uh, and I think if the vendors and countries can show that they're safe and they will, um, I think people are going to travel as soon as they possibly can um, to counter this feeling of being caged in for the last couple of months. And so that creates an interesting opportunity for us guys. We've been saying for the last couple of months that you need to get in position and how you can still earn thousand and ten thousand dollars and even the twenty five thousand additional bonus to total more up to fifty thousand dollars. Building your organization, positioning people uh, um, to get ready for the big return of travel. And some of you have taken advantage of that and you've been doing a great job and you've been building your business and staying focused and keeping your head down. And, and some of you, and whether you admit it or not, you've been waiting. You've been hoping travel is going to come back, but you've been waiting, you know? And, and so now you're put in an interesting situation, guys, because now the race is on. See, 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 what's about to happen now is as travel starts to open, it's going to it's going to pour hope and dreams back into people. And that's what fuels people. That's what fuels us. You know, we're a company built on hope and dreams. I sure hope I can achieve my goal of building financial independence and a legacy for my family and leave something for my children's children. I dream of traveling the world and seeing some of the most beautiful, beautiful places ever created. And see, it's that hope and it's that dream that fuels us. And so at, when, when everything got shut down, it, the hope and dreams got taken out of a lot of people. 
But but a lot of us took a stance. You know, if you watch my last winners win, my last point on how to become wealthy was your stand is your brand. See, 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 when you make a decision that you're going to, to take a stand and you're going to win with that decision no matter what, that becomes your brand. See, when you decided travel, see, I decided travel is it. We created uh, uh, our mission to heal nations with vacations. And when we did it, it was such a big goal. And, and, and I didn't even know how it was going to happen, just like with all the other goals I set. I don't know how I'm going to achieve them, but I do know once I decide, once I speak it into existence and then go to work, it happens. And so when we said heal nation with vacation, we said, okay, we, we asked for it and we started and then all of this happened. And most people looked at it as a negative, but because my, my stand is my brand, I said, this must be part of it. I mean, the, the nation has never needed healing more than it needs right now. And so maybe when we made this goal, the nation needed healing, but it, it wasn't on the forefront of the nation mind enough for us to achieve our goal, but it is today. It is today. It's, it's, it's bigger than ever, which means our opportunity to achieve our mission is bigger than ever. And who will people trust to do this with other than the people who stuck and stayed through the storm? Because see, when people make decisions, when they make a decision what business they're going to go into, when they make a decision what mentor they're going to pick, what leader they're going to follow, they're going to follow the one who's been tested. They're going to follow the one who's been through something. They go, see, they're not going to follow somebody that they think might quit or might leave or might change because then they'll end up wasting their time. See, they're going to look for a brand that stands for something. They're going to look for a brand that's committed to something. So if you're listening to my voice, you obviously took a stand and you're still here and so this is your brand, that you're a leader that, that won't be deterred from your mission and from your goal. And so now it's time to reap the reward. And the key to reaping the reward, guys, is you got to get momentum. You got to get running. You got to see, look, they're talking about opening up sports. But the athletes aren't going to wait until it's open before they start training and getting in shape. Some of them never stop training to get in shape. See, those are the multi, multi, multi million dollar athletes because they are paid to be in shape and ready. And so they didn't know how long they were going to be closed. They didn't know if they're going to play this year or not going to play the next year, but they stayed in shape and ready. Then you got those who may have taken some time off and spent time with their family and really, but now they started getting back in shape and getting ready. See, that kind of sounds like some of us. Some of us stayed on the grind, working probably even harder than we were. And then there's some of us who said, you know, I'll wait until we see what's going to happen with travel. Okay, well, guys, what's going to happen with travel has already happened. See, it's, it's happening right now. See, when, see, Aruba is opening back up on the 15th of this month. The Bahamas opened up on the 1st of this month. Bermuda opening up on the, on, on the 1st of July. Uh, uh, Belize is opening up on the 1st of July. Uh, uh, Barbados, the 1st of July. Uh, 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 British Virgin Islands on the 2nd, they opened up. Uh, the Cayman Islands open, is opening up in August. And, and uh, Colombia is opening up on, on the 30th of this month. And, and Costa Rica is opening up on the 1st of July. And Caracas is opening up on the 4th, which means they already opened. Dominican Republic is opening up on the 30th of uh 
uh, of this month. Jamaica is opening up on the 15th of this month. Martinique is opening up on the 1st of July. Panama is opening up on the 22nd of this month. St. Kitts is opening up on the 30th of this month. St. Lucia is opening up on the 4th. They've already opened. St. Martin and St. Martin is opening up on the 1st of July. Turks and Caicos is opening up on the 22nd of July. The U.S. Virgin Islands opened up on the 1st uh, uh, of this month. That's just a few of the places. Guys, they're, they're, coming, they're coming back with a vengeance. Now, it doesn't matter if people are going to book right away or not. What matters is that the hope and dream starts to ooze back into our body that we can still build a business and, and build a, 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 a legacy for our families and, and that we can create residual income and, and we can create bonuses and we can live a lifestyle that we always dream to live in. See, what matters is that that hope starts to ooze back in. The dream of where you're going to go. You know, I've heard a few announcements. You know, I, I heard like places like, like Hong Kong government is going to subsidize tourism. They're going to pay for half your trip if you come visit Hong Kong. I've heard this about a few different places, which means the prices to travel are going to be a dream that most people will not be able to deny. See, most people are going to look at that and say, if I be safe and I follow guidelines, I social distance, I wash my hands, I can go to Hong Kong for hundreds of dollars instead of thousands of dollars. See, see, that's going to be tough to resist. Even for some of us, it's going to be tough to resist because we're travel warriors. But the important thing is it's going to bring back hope and dreams to the nation. And the question is, Will you have a team in place to take advantage of that? Will you have built a business within a business? And guys, that's important for you to understand. Some of you is like, well, I just booked travel. Guys, you're here to build a company within a company. And the reason we say that is because it's the smart way to build. Because when you build a business within a business, when you duplicate the company, when you recruit and build people and those people can then book travel, you can survive anything. See, see, through this pandemic, when travel got shut 100% down, we still had thousands of people who kept their business open and who worked on self-improvement and self-development and kept recruiting and training and teaching the business to other people. And so the company kept generating still thousands and thousands of dollars which allowed the company to keep our employees employed and keep moving forward and keep preparing for the day that travel's going to see. We stayed, we weathered the storm. We were recession proof. We were pandemic proof. Some of you were too. Your residual incomes and residual checks stayed strong enough to still feed and take care of your family, even though travel was shut down because you built your team in the image of the company. You just weren't a travel agent, you were a travel owner. And you built a team of people that you provided leadership to and training and encouragement and support. But now some of you, you got to flat get after. You want to be on the front end. See, I anticipate we got about 60 days where this perfect storm can change your life. See, over the next 60 days, as the country start opening back up, as the hotels and resorts and vendors start opening back up, Disneyland, everything in the next 60 days is opening back up. As people hope and dreams ooze back into their bodies, yet the unemployment, people who file for unemployment is still over 40 million. And people who've been essential workers and furloughed and working from home are, are starting to think about what they're going to do next and how they like to continue to be able to work from home and how they need to start a business and how unstable the economy still is. So some of them don't know. They only have their jobs because their companies qualified for the PPP 
uh, a loan and was able to get the money to keep them working. But that's running out in the next couple of weeks for most companies. And then they're going to have to make the tough decision they were able to avoid. And see, when all of this starts, all this instability is going to create that, that, that desire to, to have a plan B, to, to, to look at other things, to be ready, which creates the most fertile ground for recruiting and building a business like we have. And some of you are going to take advantage of that and run like you've never run before, get momentum in your business and change your life. See, guys, I've been in this industry 34 years. And the key to the success that I've had and so many people want and say, I want to have the kind of success you have. I want to, I want to achieve the, the kind of success that will give me the lifestyle and the the success I have is because when it was time to go to work, I went to work. There were a few times in my life. I joined this industry in 1986. Then the following year was the stock market crash. That created a very similar economic environment. And instead of retreating, my stand was my brand. And I took a position and I ran with everything in me. And I really, really believed I had a unique opportunity. And I broke records getting people promoted. And therefore, pushing myself. I think I got promoted almost eight times in six months in that year. And that created the momentum that propelled my career for the next 20, 20 years. <clears throat> See, I didn't, I never had to work that hard again. It just compounded. And that compound lasted 20 years. Incredible career. And then I retired and I spent a couple of years traveling the world. And at that time, maybe 60, 70 different countries. Now I'm well in the high eighties, maybe even 90 at this point in my life, countries that I've been able to go to. And then I, I was introduced to YTB in the travel industry. And I thought it was the most incredible retirement gig because I could get great travel discounts. I really wasn't thinking about building a business. But then 1980, 1990, uh, no, 2006 when I joined, YTV was having its greatest momentum and everybody was running. And once again, I saw an opportunity. And so I ran. In 2006, I ran like I'd never ran before. And then within that first year, built a team of over 2,000 people. And by 2007, a year later, got my first $10,000 bonus. And that propelled my career again. And now I had a team that had momentum that was growing in YTV and I, I, I didn't have to work it that hard anymore. And I went back to traveling and I had, you know, great income and I promoted a director and had all this going on because I ran in 2006. That was the first year that YTV went from maybe about 20 directors to 100 plus directors. And then in 2008, we had a, another crash, and stock market crash. And, I mean, the uh, mortgage crisis, and, and, you know, and it affected the economy, and it did some, some crazy things. And we started running again. 
And then we created surge. See, guys, what I'm trying to say to you is it's about working hard when you're supposed to so you can relax when you don't. See, it's not just being in the business. It's being in the right time at the right place with the right leadership and taking the right action. And see, I've been in this industry 34 years, so I've had that opportunity three or four times in my life. See, most people don't have a career this long to be through two or three or four different economic stock market crashes and even a pandemic now I can add to my belt. But you're in one for sure right now. I don't know if you were here for the last one or the one before that, but you're in one right now for sure. The perfect storm to build a business that can be done on a laptop or a cell phone. Perfect storm. What are you going to do? You're going to watch it? You're going to have a front row seat to some people absolutely changing their lives, to some people setting the foundation to become financially independent, to some people building a legacy they'll be able to leave to their family and their children's children. You're going to have a front row seat or are you going to be those people? See, I, I, I'm not going to make this a long video because I want you to take this message and I want you to get it out. See, see, I, I want you to talk to people and share with them the business opportunity that we have. Don't go jump off back into travel because although it's starting to open, it's not fully there and people will hear you and then say, okay, well, I'll wait. No, share the business opportunity and how important it is to get ready. See, as these cities started to open, these restaurants, and they went and got ready. They made changes. They made social distancing changes. They, they got ready. You have got to get ready. What is your get ready? You got to go build a business. You got to go find the right quality of people that want to win so bad they can't stand it. You got to find the people that are sick and tired of being sick and tired, and you got to show them a new way. You got to find the people that are losing hope because they don't know what to do next and how and when and where and where their next money's coming from and how they're going to feed their family and how they're going to pay their bills. And they're distraught. They're, they're, they're upset. They're crying. They're they're, they're, they're researching. They don't know what to do. They're looking for you. So go find the people that's looking for you. Don't go argue with the people that aren't. Don't go try to convince people that aren't interested. Go find the people that are looking for you. There's somebody right now on their knees saying, please send me an answer. Send me away. Tell me what to do. That's who you're looking for. But you got to look for them. You got to open your mouth. They're not just going to know it's you. They're going to recognize you by what's coming out of your mouth, by your conviction, by your enthusiasm, your confidence in these times that now is the right time, at the right place, with the right company, with the right leadership. They're going to recognize you by those things. And they're going to know there's my answer. But you got to make a commitment to flat get after it. You do not want to have a front row seat to the momentum that's about to take place from now to the end of the year. You want to participate not watch. And that means you got to start where you stand. If it's just you, that's just fine. When you get through listening to this, you decide that you're going to flat get after it. And you make a list and you start calling. You call the people you contacted before and you tell them it's happening. If the time has never been perfect, Never been better than it is right now. It's happening. It's happening. And they're going to say, what's happening? The perfect storm is happening. The right market and the reopening of the industry is happening. 
you call the people in your team who said, who 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 who, uh, who quit, and they didn't, and in their minds they didn't quit. They just decided, you know, I'm gonna take a step back and wait for the industry to come back. So you call them and say, it's time to step back up. <clears throat> it's time to reactivate your business. Because because it's, it's happening. You contact the people who, who may have left a while ago. You say, it's happening. What's happening? The perfect storm, it's happening. The right environment to build a business to become financially independent. This is the most fertile environment. See, I know some of you are going, Chris, the world is in turmoil. Turmoil is the most fertile environment. See, before you plant, you first got to create that turmoil in the soil, don't you? You got to flip it over. You got to run that thing across it and just kind of dig and flip it over. You, you don't take flat, smooth soil that's not been touched and try to stick seeds in it. No, you air it out. You flip it over. You create that. That ground has never been in, in, in as much turmoil as it is when you begin to plant. And so this is the most fertile environment to begin to plant the seeds that'll be the foundation to your success. You just gotta flat get after. You can't take no excuses, you can't make no excuses. Some will, some won't, so what? Tell me yes, tell me no, but tell me fast, I got to go. There are people looking for me and I need to find them. It's time to go to work, guys. It is time to go to work. It's time to pull out all your different list of people and let them know it's happening. It's happening. And you know, I, I, I thought that very few people would, would travel. But after this week, I realized that people do what's important to them. You know, we had a march here in Houston, 60,000 people came out to march in the middle of a pandemic. They put social distancing to the side because there was a more important issue at hand. I hope they don't pay a price for that. But what it taught me was that people do what's important to them. And I truly believe feeding their family and achieving their goals and dreams is important. And when you show them they can do both without the risk of a pandemic, they can do it from the comfort of their home with a laptop and a cell phone. The light's going to go off in their head and they're going to know it's what they've been looking for. So guys, let's go out and get after it. We still got those specials in place where you can get the tip product for $2.99 and get two months off. Or you could get the top product for $4.99 and get three months off. Guys, that, that is an incredible program. It puts getting started with our company at pretty much $99 a month for the first three months. So, you never pay more than $99 a month to get started building your business. Where can you do that? And get a business like ours. See, there's a lot of people that have discounted their businesses, but they don't have the two things that make ours special. Upfront income in our bonuses and back-end residual to build a legacy. We have both. Best comp plan in the industry. Go get it. Go get that money. Go make big things happen. Mm -hmm. I'll see you guys next time on Winner's Land.